We have our man in the middle, our main referee, Gabriel Martins, joined by our capable team of black belt side judges. And we're underway here in our first match of the evening. Joining us in the commentary box is where we have special guest, Hollywood Mike Sears. Yeah, welcome to my last night as a Flow Sports employee. <laughs> I, I can't wait. I was just laying down about to have a heart attack. I'm so excited about these matches. I'll let you guys do the work. I don't like to work hard, but I, yeah, this is going to be crazy. This, this straw weight match, I mean, to be honest, who would have imagined that this 115-pound division would turn out to be one of the most exciting in no-gi jiu-jitsu. A real, uh, a, just a, a growing number of very talented athletes coming through in these ranks, a very solid top 10 ranking, very competitive division, Chase. Yeah, all the matches here have been so great, which is why we are debuting our Who's Number One Championships with the 115-pound division, Mike. Yeah, I mean, that's what we really focused on this division this year just because there's so many exciting young uh, women in this division, athletes that really get after it. So we really focused on blowing it up, and then September is going to be the culmination of that. I can't wait. I like how they match at hand here. They get right into it. Yeah, just a reminder, about. on bottom is Danielle Kelly, and on top is uh, Jessica Crane. Jessica Crane in the short-sleeved wow. rash guard, brown-colored rash guard, to signify the fact that she is actually a brown belt chase, believe it or not. No, but this is an ongoing conversation. Do belts really matter in no-gi jiu-jitsu? I know Mike has some opinions on this. No, I don't think so at all. I mean, we got a brown belt in the main event of this thing, so yeah, it's, yeah forget about it. Let's also note that Jesse Crane's brown belt was earned just in December of 2020, so it's barely been you know six months for that, so very impressive. Seated guard on bottom so far for Danielle Kelly. It's interesting to note that she pulled guard immediately. Yeah. But she has talked a lot about the fact that she enjoys wrestling. And we actually saw that in her last match here on Who's Number One against Jessica a full 15-minute match. She lost the decision, but she showed everybody, number one, she's got serious heart. But number two, she actually had some wrestling skills that I think people didn't really expect. Yeah, she's been playing, you know, with a little seated guard. That was a nice quick little arm drag she tried a minute ago. But, uh, yeah, I thought they were going to wrestle a little bit. Oh. Going in for the leg. You can see Danielle Kelly did say in her pre-match interviews that she feels that she has a good leg lock game. Well, we'll see. Because so far, you know, in, in the match with the, the, the Jesse Crane had here last time out, we didn't really see anything of the legs. Her, her top game and her pressure was enough to shut that down. But this is, this is a pretty good entry so far from Kelly. I think Crane just trying to keep her base heavy here. Yeah, this is a dicey situation here because Kelly is underneath the hips of Crane, and if she gets an elevation here, it, it could be a problem for, for Crane on top. Just feeling out this position, and Crane is doing a good job of settling down and, and keeping her, her base uh, just heavy in this position because really the last thing you want to do is the last thing you want is to Daniel Kelly to get deep in underneath and really catch that leg but this is what she's doing she's managing yeah, to get some extension it. here possible knee bar that here that looks tight she gets yeah, the submission exactly three minutes into the match Danielle Kelly very patient submission finish a knee bar straight knee bar and she will get a submission of the night bonus here as well courtesy of our sponsors fat tire but man what a return to the stage what a statement I mean she wasn't she wasn't happy with the last time she was on who's number one she comes out corner representing Silver Fox Jiu Jitsu Danielle Kelly Exactly three minutes on the clock when she scored that submission. And uh, I got to say, the strategy was clear. She hinted at it earlier in the, uh, in, you know, the, the media day, the interviews that we always do. She discussed about how she felt she had confidence in her leg lock game. And the strategy was clear. That's exactly what she went for. Let's take a look at some of the moments from this match here. You mentioned it, Mike. A little bit of wrestling earlier there, the, the arm drag. But it's when she got on the legs, that's when it was all over. 